All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how I custom mounted a generator to my tractor trailer. All right, guys, this is my um, box. This is from Byers. I believe this is a 32 inch box. As you can see, I uh, had some brackets. I uh, basically, I took a plate, 3 8 inch plate, used it as the backing. I've got these L brackets that come off of here. Same thing on this side. All right, and what I did was I took some uh, 3 8 inch tubing, uh, 3 8 inch wall tubing, aluminum wall tubing. I inserted bolts from back here to here. We secured this on here pretty good. And then I welded uh, some support gussets this way. All right. This is pretty much it. And here I have a 4500 Westinghouse iGen 4500. I also got this uh, cooling fan and I also made a cooling port for it. So in the summer times or when I want extra ventilation, I can just pop that cover out of there. I got everything running through here. I got this pass through, just like a little uh, cover you can open and close. Just a way to route your wiring. And I got that wired into the cab, as you can see. All right, when I want to start up my generator, I could be in the cab, I could be outside of the cab, I could be in my car, I can come to the key fob, hold the on button, starts up just like that. that I got installed. If I want to open this up for extra ventilation in the summer, man, that's working. All right, and also again, when I'm in the cab, I've got a key fob. So all I do is uh, on the key fob, if I wanted to turn it on, you can hear it's on now, hold down the off button. You can hear it shut off. 
what you're probably hearing is my neighbor he has a conventional APU so that's what you hear running in the background again if I want to turn it on hold the on button there it goes that's how I got electricity uh, I'm gonna show you my HVAC system air conditioner and heating system on another video I just wanted to show you what actually powered uh, all my electronics my heating my microwave you know my television and it's this generator right here Lock it up. 